College Football on CBS Sports Network, presented by Geico. The San Diego State Aztecs. And a smother around the 26. As Larry Clark, the wide receiver, has the return. And we have a 3,000 yards last year. Not bad for a walk-on. It was turned away when he first came to San Diego State as a freshman, but the junior college route instead. And Kaler led his team to three overtime wins, five fourth-quarter comebacks last season. It's a double fullback look. As the ball goes to Donnell Pumphrey, who was set up as a wide out, the running back on the stretch gets about eight. A veteran offensive line expected to do a lot. We've already seen the versatility of Danelle Pumphrey. Yeah, Pumphrey's very, very patient, and he's getting great blocks up front, but he needs those blocks to develop. And with the size and the girth of those guys up front, he'll have some gaping holes if he waits for them. Pumphrey on second and short has the first down, spilled at around the 40. So a gain of three at the line. Play action. Incomplete. Looking for Eric and how many guys are right up near the line of scrimmage here. They expect run, they get it from Pumphrey and his zigzagging only gets about three. He's to the 44. Third and seven. Three down lineman. Pumphrey the single back. Off the play fake. Pressure coming. And a little behind his target, looking for the big guy, Robert Craighead. The U.S. Sand Sculpting Challenge and 3D Art Expo, a four-day event at Embarcadero, draws folks from all over the world. I can do a sand mound, perhaps a smiley face. That's probably about it. I, I stopped. I kind of peeked at hole. Yeah. Six homes. And a first down run. That's Jan, take double tight look, Bo Gardner in motion. Blitz coming off the plate fake, Bo in space. And a bobble. Red zone last year, and they've had some trouble keeping their linebackers healthy this season. But up front, they have a known commodity in Dontrell on Noah. And they've got a local, very well-known name and number in Seau at linebacker, number 55. Nephew of the great junior Seau. Who is eligible for pro football Hall of Fame consideration next year. Most consider him a surefire first ballot. You could have made an argument that he's a guy that probably should have walked right in or could have walked right in straight off the field. Blitz comes on third down. Say I would be proud. And a drop ball. It's a football cliche. A small running back. You can't see him behind a big offensive line, but that line makes a hole. Humphrey puts down his head. And he's well into the end zone before he ever gets to the backside of his offensive guard and tackle on that right side. Beautiful blocking. And now the customary point after, but it's far from a usual activity for San Diego State, which had such yeah. trouble in the kicking yeah. game. Most 53% of the Rocky Long era. Donnie Hageman, one of the solutions. Good on his first try today. Yeah, now that was just perfect. 33 yards here. Darius Lewis laid the lick to jar the ball free. But Bob Toledo, who runs more of a pro-style offense, inserting some, some shades of the college day. Well, he's offensively. Here's Price. Oh, what a gash! Price! Oh, the shoulder drops the boom to the five-yard line. Chase Price. Toss, Pumphrey on the edge. Pumphrey. Chase Price gets the ball, but his clock, seventh play of the drive. Price, oh, he gets a big pass. That offensive line has owned the game early. Darrell Green, he helped open that gaping hole in San Diego State as a two-score advantage first quarter. There, Hayden, that's redundant. <laughs> it's a pregame tailgate, then gets the game started as the Warrior hands the spear off to Alicia Gwynn, the widow of the late, great Tony Gwynn. A huge honor to get the game underway, the thrust right into the heart of the field. In many ways, Tony Gwynn, the heart of this city of San Diego for all so long.
Ben on this third down look. At the gun. Taylor flushed. Won't go down. Ball to him first time around of that 48 yard field goal. Here from 46. No good. Gets out of the edge. Eric Judge. Down for it. Second and short off the pump fake. Some pressure. Safety look. Pumphrey. Oh, Donnell Pumphrey gets the block from Ruffin. Submarine to the 9 and 12. Taylor. He also likes Eric Judge. He's targeted him quite a bit. As he knocks it up. Chase Price, the deep man. Play fake. Kaler. Soft touch. Touchdown. Robert Crickhead. Off late and was wide open. Drop coverage by the receiver. I mean by the linebacker. Aikman's point after good. Five play, 58 yard drive. It took just a buck 13. And Munson now finally makes Poe play, pay, taking this thing back almost to the end zone. The ball's just inside the one yard line. And watch the finish here. Won't go down. Tyron Poe, the quarterback, gets in on it to help tackle it. Humphrey spins away. Touchdown. Here. I don't know. Pistol look. Second down. Fourth quarter underway. Delayed look. Marquise Page. Humbled for a loss of a few by Alex Barrett. Uh-oh. Mills. Him and the kicker. Taking down the specials. Run it back. Well, so far the Northern Arizona momentum era of the second half here in San Diego lasted all about 10 minutes because it took an interception, a return, a quick little one yard run, and now a punt return for a touchdown to put this. Eight seven. At least here. Poe forced to improvise. Nearly to be better off if plays slants inside that let the guy run for the first down. Taylor. Finds an open target. Paul Pitts the third, the junior, out of Rancho Cucamonga, California. Poe sidestepping. Too many men. Yeah, that's really nice pass rush lanes and maintaining those lanes. Important for him to be flipping that ball all over the place probably this year, at least for the start of here. For San Diego State, Nick Baldwin. The NFL. The premier properties here Thursday night all year long. That's it's fantastic. And I tell you, that first one too with Baltimore. See, the year that goes Thursday night on CBS. On the ground on third down. That's Marcus Stamps. He's had an ankle problem. He figures to be a bigger part of the rotation as the year goes on. Last 10 seconds will run away. As soon as they spot that ball, Jerome Sowers comes to San Diego and his Lumberjacks humbled 38 to 7. Important thing for Rocky Long and company, we learned they're 1 0 now. And like last year, they started 0 and 3. I think this team is. Much more, much more better rounded. They're running the ball well. They knew who they are throwing the ball. And I thought defensively, they played pretty good. They faced the North Carolinas and the Oregon States. They're going to run into some real high-powered offenses, though. They better button down a lot of the mistakes.